what if you can run an entire AI team inside one N8N workflow without breaking the bank? That's exactly what N8N just dropped. N8N's new multi-agent AI workflows lets you combine multiple language models like Google Gemini Pro, Flash, and other GPT-style models, each doing what they do best in a single automation. And the best part, it's faster, smarter, and way cheaper than you think. In this video, I'll show you how it works. This new feature lets you create nested AI agents inside your workflow. That means that each agent Agent can act like a tool or even call other agents, creating a fully layered system of collaboration. Think of it like this. Gemini Flash handles all the grunt work because it's really quick. It can do the research, parsing, and filtering. Gemini Pro steps in only when deep research is required. You can still plug in GPT-4 or Claude if needed, but the system is optimized and designed for cost versus power. You're using the right model for the right job, which slashes token costs and boosts performance. So let me show you how this would work. When I normally build AI agents, I would just have one agent, I would have a language model, I maybe have the thinking tool, and then I normally plug in perplexity to do some deep research. And this is fine if you have a basic agent doing some very simple tasks. But as soon as you connect more AI agents, call in other tools, it gets more complicated, it, use, it starts using more tokens, and the process takes longer. But this new AI agent tool slashes all of that. So let's take the a analysis agent example that you can see in front of you. Normally, I would just connect it up to Google Flash because it's very fast. I can then use the perplexity model, and I'll let the AI agent do all of this for me. But with the new AI agent tool, what I can do is I can collaborate. I can tell the main agent to basically use the surface level language model, which is Gemini Flash. And if it's basic analysis or research, it can go ahead and do that. But if it, if it requires more in-depth, more analysis, more research, then it can call the research agent, which is connected as a tool. It will then plug into the more powerful language model, which is Google Pro. And then it would use the perplexity node to then do the deep research. The way you access this AI agent tool is from the nodes panel here. And you just do a search for AI agent tool and it'll bring up this node here. And then you connect it up as you normally would. So inside of here, let me show you what the description is. So it's just a call the research agent when deep research is required. And then for the prompt, I've just let it be defined automatically by the model. So this will then just use the AI agent, which is the analysis agent, the parent, and it will just let that decide. So ultimately this is the brain, but then it's using the other agents to collaborate. Now this is a game changer because you can build all your automations onto one canvas. So you can call multiple agents like this. You can have one for research, you can have one for telegram, for your calendars, for email, etc. You can make this as big as you want. It will use less tokens if you're using more expensive language models like Sonnet 4 because it will only call the agents as and when required. So remember the surface level operations are done by Gemini Flash which is much cheaper and much faster. And what this does is this removes sub workflows. So in the past you would have to call another N8N workflow tool which is the parent node here. Once you attach the N8N workflow tool you then have to connect it up to a sub workflow. So then you can call any of the sub workflows on your N8N account. Now this gets messy because N8N's own recommendations are that we run sub workflows on other canvases. So ultimately you'd save this as one automation and then you'd open up a blank canvas and then you'd create the sub workflow in there. But that's obviously gonna take longer. It's going to use more tokens and there is a learning curve for that. And that's why I think this AI agent tool is a complete game changer because not only is it going to let you build and launch automations faster, it's gonna be a lot more cost effective. Now in this example, I've used Gemini because it's free at this moment in time. But if you are using other language models that are paid or if you're building this for clients, then cost is obviously going to be a consideration. And if you're wondering how you can use AI as a business or a side hustle, click on the link in the description and join the Automation Kings private community. Inside here, I'll show you exactly how you can use AI as a business. So I run an AI agency during the daytime and I serve a few clients, or I'll show you exactly how you can use it for other tasks like faceless YouTube channels. There's a bunch of content in here from me and from other members. And there's a classroom here with lots of useful content, such as how to launch your AI agency 16 days. And I've got a ton of AI automation and blueprints, so everything I talk about on this YouTube channel, but also some private exclusive automations that are not available to everybody else. They're just for my community. So click on the link in the description, sign up, follow the on-screen instructions, and I'll follow. You, I'll see you on the inside. But before you go, smash the like button, leave some comments below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and turn your notifications on so you see when the next video drops. Take care.